everyone. I just want to take a little moment to show you our new Stampin' Aid. It's called Stamp and Stash. Each pack comes with four different stamping plates. And the measurements are 10 times 17 and a half centimetres, 14 times 10 centimetres, 10 times 7 centimetres, and 17 and a half times 5 centimetres. So I just thought I'd show you these little plates. I had a look through my stash and couldn't believe the amount of acrylic blocks I have. As you can see, there are quite a few. I do actually use, well, all of them, really. And I think the one that I use the most is this one. It's a little one-inch square. And I find that really useful. So I'm going to compare now just one of these blocks against the stamp and stash plates. I'm going to use this one. It's a standard size. And I've got that's two, another three, that's five. Well, another three, that's eight. Ooh, eight. Seven and a half. So I can have seven and a half of these stamp and stash plates for just one acrylic block. So my storage for a start is a lot better. But how do they stamp? So let's do a little bit of stamping. I'm going to use this tree. This one was made for the class session and it was made to complement the Seasonal House Project Club. So I'm going to use the stamp and stash plate. To be honest, when Roy asked me to have a go at using these, I was a little bit unsure. Because I have arthritis, I didn't think I'd be able to pick anything up properly with them being so thin. Uh, but it's surprising how quickly I actually got into using them and they're really easier on my fingers because of the arthritis I have. And uh, I tend to, to slide and use. So I thought that was quite good. I'm going to use a little bit of memento ink just because it dries properly. And another thing that I found as well is you don't have to actually put as much pressure on. With a thicker acrylic block sometimes you didn't get a nice enough impression So, put that to one side for a minute. Let's get some leaves on it. I'm going to use the Big and Juicy Spice. Now, at this point, I would actually use my little one inch square acrylic block. But, when we were in class, I went round and gave out a few of the smaller ones. It wasn't actually this small, it was um, more of that size. So that people could use the leaves. And one lady actually decided to use this long, thin stamp and stash plate. So what she did, let's move that out of the way, was put her stamp just on the end and she actually used this to hold on to and just dabbed in the ink and just used it like so and I thought that was really handy And just moving your paper around
instead of actually moving your block around all the time she had a lot more control I do actually find this a lot easier because sometimes when I'm using the small acrylic block my hands get a little bit achy but this is really easy I'm not going to do any more although I could <laughs> could quite easily Now, I wanted to show you that one when it came to doing the birdcage. I put the stamp in the middle, added my ink. Now, what I tend to do is just close that out of the way is hold the stamp and stash plate at the top and the bottom, position and then just push my finger down in the middle and that's it, that puts the impression on your card. So why stamp and stash? We've already had a look at the stamping side so now let's have a look at the stash. This is the largest of the set of four stamp and stash plates and on here I've got a couple of alphabets on this side I have I think it's alphabet 5 I'm not sure check the website out for more details there's quite a few alphabets on there anyway and on here if I use one of my letters I can instantly see where it needs to live but more importantly I can see if I've got any missing I'm always losing these letters and they turn up all over the place so on that side I've got all my capitals if I turn it over I've got all my lowercase so I can do exactly the same once I've used them I can see where they need to go back and keep all my set intact now if you look on the edge of all the plates there is two holes so these two holes will actually fit onto a ring binder so if I just get my ring binder, this is my alphabets and words binder and uh, in here oh, I've got loads. So if you check out the website you'll find if not all of them on there. But what it does mean if I'm using the stamp and stash plates, just put a piece of scrap paper on there so you can see what I'm doing. If I use one of these plates and I want just that bit of an alphabet, I can take out, use it and put it back making it a lot easier to do that rather than to take out an A4 sheet where I keep lots of little ones on such as these are all my crystal tips so I'd have to take the full sheet out or use my desk space up with my, uh, with my ring binder so it makes it a lot easier just to use the stamp and stash. Thank you very much. Bye.